Hi, my name is Cassie Volker. I am the Financial Affairs Assistant, and I will be going over accident reporting with you. If you get into a vehicle accident and you have a radio on you, call for a park ranger to be dispatched to your location. If there is no immediate response, you can call 911 and ask for a park ranger. Um, be sure to contact your supervisor immediately, letting them know of any injuries um, that you have or anyone else and or any property damage. Worker incidents that are not requiring a clinical visit. This would be something if you got hurt um, at work, you cut your finger on a piece of paper or something and it just requires a band-aid or you've tripped over something and you're not really hurt, just kind of maybe have a bruise or something. You need to make sure that you still let your supervisor know. Um, and then the two of you will complete a Genesee County employee accident form. Um, then your supervisor will submit that form to the finance office. It's just very important that we have this on file. Um, for instance, if you fell and you have a bruise on your knee or on your leg or something, and you don't think it's a big deal, but two or three days down, down the road, your knee is all swollen up and you can't walk, um, this would just make sure that we have a record of what happened and when it happened. Worker incidents that do require a clinical visit. Um, this would be something if you got hurt at work um, and you need to go to a clinic. Um, you need to make sure that you notify your supervisor immediately. If it is something that is um, life-threatening, um, please make sure that you call 911 um, so we can get you directly to an ER. Um, your supervisor will follow the pro proper procedures and get all of the proper paperwork filled out for you and get everything um, over to the finance office. If you go to the clinic and you have a follow-up appointment, it is very important that you do go to that follow-up appointment. Um, or if you are put out of work and you are on restrictions, you need to make sure that you have a return to work paper. We are not able to allow you to return to work until we have that in our files. If you do sustain some type of an injury and you do have to go to the clinic, you must go to our designated clinic. You are not able to go to your primary care physician. Our current clinic that we need to visit is right next to Hurley Hospital. Please make sure when you are visiting there or if you have to go there, do not go into the ER. There is an actual little facility right next to the ER um, that is a clinic, you'll need to make sure that you go into there. A non-worker incident, this would include any guests that we have visiting within our parks. Um, first, just make sure that you provide some first aid to them, um, whatever they will need. Um, if the guest does refuse, um, just make sure that you make a note on the report um, that they did refuse that. Um, be sure to also contact your supervisor when this happens so they can get you the proper form, which is going to be a non-workers compensation form. Um, this is something that we fill out. The guest does not fill this out, um, and we do not give a copy to the guest um, at this time. And then once that form is completed and filled out, um, that your supervisor will return that form to the financial office. Um, if medical attention is needed, be sure to call for a park ranger um, and let them know your location so they can get to you and assist. Um, if it is life-threatening, um, please be sure to call 911 so we can get everyone the proper assistance they need. This is the end of the accident reporting. Um, if you have any questions, please ask your supervisor. Um, they will be able to assist you.